So then, there have been running battles on the streets of the Bangladeshi capital, Dhaka. The clashes between police and protesters have already claimed at least three lives. Islamic protesters are demanding the introduction of anti-blasphemy law. They also want the death penalty for those who insult Islam or the Prophet Muhammad. They've ignored a government-issued ultimatum to protesters to leave Dhaka by Sunday. Kimberly Vinell has more on the day's events. Pelted with rubber bullets, a wall of protesters refused to back down. Laying waste as they advance through the Bangladeshi capital. Setting fire to cars and buildings, security forces held little back. Turning the streets of Dhaka into a battleground. Demonstrators were answering a call from a fledgling group of hardliners. They are demanding a new blasphemy law and say offenders should be tried under the strict Sharia law. This protest is depressed for the 13-point list of demands by Hifasat Islam in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah and we demand punishment for the atheist bloggers. The atheist bloggers he's referring to are those using new media to advocate for a secular society in Bangladesh. And that's what the government of this Muslim-majority nation is fighting to uphold, a country governed by secular liberal laws. <laughs> Blocking off roads, protesters cut off the city entirely. And as the evening wore on, looters took over. And as opposition leaders continue to call their supporters to join the protests, Bangladesh must brace for larger rallies and more violence. Kim Vinal, Al Jazeera, 